welcome back. Hope you are all okay, that you've had a really good week. Happy Thursday. Um, so today what we're gonna be doing is, are they checking your social media and are they gonna message? So it's kind of like two in one, but Spirit was saying that we had to amalgamate, big word there, we had to amalgamate the energy. So are they checking your social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever else there is, I'm not very good on it, Snapchat? Uh, I don't know what other types there are and will they message, okay? So as always, we've got your two decks to pick from. We've gone for blue decks today. Spirit really drew me to the blue decks and, and blue always stands for communication. So it's quite interesting that we got drawn to these. So deck number one and deck number two, I want you to think about you and your person. And as you're thinking about your person, feel that heart-centered energy that you have towards them and push it into the deck you are most drawn to. And if you can't feel your energy pushing in, just visualize a kind of like a rose gold pink color for unconditional love that you have going into the deck that you want. Number one and number two. Okay, let's do this. Deck number one. Number one. Okay. Can you tell me, please, can we get into everyone who's watching energy? Um, so, yeah, as always, the way it's on the strongest energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances. Uh, readings are always timeless because psychics, we have no conception of past, present, future to us. It all kind of links into one. That's how we work. So whenever you're watching it is the time that you are specifically meant to. Your future energy is already in the deck. How ace is that? Trip your mind out. Okay, think about your person. Ooh. Can you think about your person for me? Do, 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 do. That sounded like a mobile ringtone coming up then. Do, 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 do. Is that someone's ringtone watching? Um, if so, you are going to be getting a message. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes of their person and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices and changes. Okay, so my guide is saying just two more hand shuffles, two more bridges, as I call it. One, that's the one, and then we are going. So, let's see what comes up. Are there people watching their social media? So, uh, I've got a song, as we always kind of do, so we always like to come through with songs for you guys. Um, because I'm Claire Audient, often they will communicate with songs and I know on private reading some people get playlists because they get song after song after song after song like a spiritual playlist um but the song that you're getting is I Almost Do by Taylor Swift so that's quite a quite a beautiful song saying that every time they want to call they back out of it but they almost do okay will they are they watching their social media so five for are they watching and five, four, are they going to message? So amalgamate the energy of spirit side. Let's amalgamate four. Ooh, definite movement coming in here. Five, and are they going to contact? One, are they going to message? Two. So we've got two separate spreads going on for social media and for contact. So what's going to be happening with you and the person? Your person is keeping tabs on you. They are a little bit unsure about what to do over the situation at this moment in time, but we do have this kind of movement coming forward over here and we also have Page of Pentacles. Sim uh, suggesting that there is going to be some form of communication coming in from your person. Now, with regards to them watching your social media, they do do it. With the kind of hanged man energy over here, they try not to. They try not to. They try not to overly watch what you're doing. They try to not overly stalk you. But it comes to that point where they are really battling those emotions, really battling that energy, and that movement comes forward from them, and they do check what's going on. Curiosity killed the cat spirit is saying curiosity gets the better of them So they do want to check your social media and that is what they end up doing They are very blinkered in their perspective of checking your social media. So whatever you're posting on there um, your person is kind of looking for deeper meaning 
looking for what's actually happening. Um, is there some kind of subliminal hidden message? Your person is kind of battling all of that in their mind. And this is why they try not to overly look. They try not to look all over all the time because everything that you post, um, they are thinking, is there more to this? Is this a message for me? What's actually happening? And it started to drive them a little bit cray cray. So they were like, right, you know what? I'm just going to try and uh, watch from the sideline and over here this is your energy kind of standing forward this is them you've got your back turned to them at this moment in time so this is them again watching what you are up to movement coming over for forward here we have the cat looking towards the mum um, again watching what you are up to and I said in the last reading um, that that crow it said dogs uh, look up to us, cats look down on us and horses see right through us. And your person can sometimes have a little bit of cat-like tendencies. Um, and it's with that saying, they look down on us. Again, it's that looking energy coming up that they do watch what you are up to. They are watching your social media. They are trying not to excessively, but they are watching it. And the reason again, why they try not to do it excessively is because um, they don't want to become fixated on things that perhaps you haven't actually said and that they think it's aimed about them. So they're giving themselves a lot of credit for the stuff that you're posting. And because of that, they're like, well, you know what? Um, it's sometimes better that I don't look. Um, they seem to have a feeling that you have these very strong emotions for them, that you really deeply care for them. Um, but they also think that perhaps sometimes you don't really know the real them, um, that you always try and see the lighter side of things, um, the lighter side of their personality, but they do feel that they have a heavier energy surrounding you. Um, and because of that, sometimes they don't check your social media as much as you would like because um, they feel that you could perhaps be blinded by your feelings for them. And again, it comes back to that subliminal, are they putting statuses up about me? Um, and if they are, are they making me out to be this amazing person? Because actually, I don't feel like I am. Okay, if that makes sense to you. So um, sometimes they feel that you're blinded. Let me just summarise it because spirit kind of got it a bit weirdy. Um, sometimes they feel that you're blinded by the perception that you have of them and whether you actually see the real them. So another reason why they don't check social media is in case that you are bigging them up or again, putting subliminal messages out for them, um, which is focusing more on the lighter side of things. And if they've treated you a little bit rubbish, they have that sense of guilt or worry or concern over it. Your person is looking to the past with stuff that has happened with you guys um, kind of analysing where you guys are at, what's happened. Um, but there is this kind of stalking and they are still holding on to this red thread um, for hope. They still have hope over this connection with you. So are they checking your social media? Overall, the answer is yes. Um, however, it's not quite as often as you would like. And again, it's because they don't want to see something that perhaps could be perceived as a dig or your perception of them could be a little bit mean or you're giving them too much of an ego by putting nice stuff about them so they try not to overly absorb what they're seeing because what your person does is think overthink and over analyze potentially quite a lot of water signs in deck number one not all of you but there's a lot of this kind of emotional burying water water boys or girls uh, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel Okay, so the feeling, uh, are they gonna message you? At the moment, there is this kind of stagnation around the, uh, around the situation with you, with you guys. Um, you've got a lot of fear and worry and doubt and concern that you know maybe they're not interested, maybe um, it's over with you guys, you're worrying about all of that. Um, this person came and set your soul on fire and now you're feeling a little bit of a loss over what's actually happened between you guys. Um, you're feeling as if everything Spirit is saying is quite barren, quite cold, um, that there's been this time of over winter, it's been quite difficult and you've tried to hide your emotions, you've tried to, you know, put the emotions under the carpet, but your person is still very much in your soul and your soul energy. Um, same with your person, they're kind of in the same energy that they, with this over here, they've tried to disregard the situation, but they haven't done a very good job of it because we know that they're watching social media. They try to bury the connection a little bit deeper, um, but there is still a chance for growth here. So are they going to message you? We have this kind of ending that's happened between you guys um, where it's been very, very difficult, quite taxing, spirit is saying. 
quite hard times you both have fallen on together and that you haven't felt that there's much room for growth but you're still holding on to the situation and hoping it will progress um some of you were worrying about other people being involved in this if you don't know about another person then don't freak yourself out over it because um if you do know about a person it'll be a third party and if you don't then you don't need to worry about it because there isn't an indicator of anyone else okay so you guys are really unsure about what's happening and whether it's going to progress um are they going to message at this moment in time it's not going to be happening for a little while spirit is saying about three months two to three months then that is when you're going to be hearing from them so a bit of time um while they kind of process analyze don't let these fears get in the way of the situation um and then you have that movement coming towards you. And we have movement over here. So we do know that they are watching you. We do know that they want to communicate with you. Your page of pentacles over here, there is a communication coming forward. It's just not quite yet. It's going to be a little bit of time, two to three months. So yes, they're watching your social media, probably not as often as you like. A little bit of avoidance behavior happening. Um, and are they going to message you? The overall answer is yes. But again, it's just not quite yet. It will happen at a later date roughly about two to three months as your collective energy if you want to look at individual timings just give me a shout drop me a message um obviously that's a collective timing for you all so works a bit like the average when we did mass at school where you go into everyone's energy pull out the strongest energy between you all and that strongest energy on average is two to three months for the collective energy of deck number one your person communicating with you dropping you that message that you really desire um they are still thinking about you really massively still thinking about you element of karmic energy kind of coming up here that's not to say that you guys are karmic people um even twin flames often will have a lot of karma with their uh with the connection because you've lived multiple multiple lifetimes with your twin flame they do feel the bond with you they do feel the very strong pull towards you um at the moment it's just a little bit of avoidance that's coming with it but curiosity is getting the better of them and they are watching your social media okay guys that is deck number one um have a fabulous week i will speak to you next week look after yourselves and um, goddess blessings heading your way okay beauties deck number two so are they checking your social media and are they going to message you two separate kind of readings all amalgamated into one for you think about your person please can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes okay all possibilities probabilities choices and changes Okay, I've got a song for you. Um, it is that song that says, I can't even remember who sang it. I think it was, was it Queen? I'm going to sound really dumb now if it wasn't Queen. Under Pressure. Under Pressure, pushing down on me. <laughs> That's coming up. So your person automatically is feeling a little bit under pressure at this moment in time. It doesn't just mean with regard to you. It could be in all aspects of their life, but that song is coming forward. Okay, can you tell me, is that person watching that was a hand set? Is that person watching their social media? I haven't used this deck in ages. Uh, the first deck was Silver Witchcraft. This one is the Serco Tarot. Is that person watching their social media? Three, four, five. Uh, oh. I love it when that happens. Look, the Empress and the Emperor. How cute is that? I love it when that happens. A little divine partnership happening there. Will they message? Will they message? One, two, three. In fact, I might just get one. Let's see what the cards say. They're going to message through. Okay, your person absolutely worships around you, walk on, loves you to pieces, perhaps has a funny way of acting around it, um, but they do really, really, really love you, really love you. Um, not just a little bit, 
a lot but what happens with your piercing is sometimes they just act like a little bit of a wally and they're not really sure um what to do how to go about it what's actually happening um but the love for you is really really strong you have this kind of divine like i showed you this divine partnership and this two of cups energy over here so empress emperor very strong possible twin flames possible higher vibrational soulmates very strong love that you share and with the two of cups over here their emotions for you your connection you might disagree but your connection on an energetic level is quite balanced at the moment maybe not on the physical plane but on the higher vibrational planes your energy is um quite balanced between you guys there's been a lot of mirroring going on so anything that you've been doing your person has been doing also so if you have been watching their social their social media they have been watching yours very strong influence of venus and mars coming up spirit are talking about over here um kind of goes back to that divine feminine divine masculine energy regardless of your sexual orientation or your gender um tarot lenoma always works for masculine and feminine energy so the balancing of your energy is very strong over here your venus and mars are quite balanced and your person is definitely watching your social media absolutely now sometimes they can be a little bit airy and what i mean by that is um it can be a little bit evasive a little bit feisty a little bit kind of um well you know i'm going to pretend that nothing's happening that i'm not doing this that i'm not obsession obsessing and um, that i'm actually okay with absolutely everything that is happening um and sometimes this is what makes me turn into a bit of a wally you've got communication coming forward in fact it doesn't feel for a lot of you guys that have chosen deck number two that your communication never really went anywhere um maybe they went quiet for a little while but you absolutely have this communication coming back in with your page of cups over here again your person coming towards you with some form of offer of love they are going to openly express how they feel about you um they haven't done that before really they have a little bit but they haven't said to you you know what I really love you you're the person i want to be with you are my total world and this is what's going to happen with your person they're going to openly express to you their emotions and their feelings we also have with this a very strong sexual energy don't freak out if you guys don't like creepy cards this bit's a bit creepy okay very strong sexual energy with you guys very strong chemistry we do have the addiction side of things coming up over here and um, so potentially on occasions this relationship might have seemed a little bit toxic perhaps your person has done some stuff to provoke a reaction within you to see how you feel um if not it is just the chemistry the connection the bond that you share it makes it very very hard to break away from so like i said it doesn't feel that you're out of communication but if you are don't worry because it is going to be coming back in anytime now absolutely any time now they can see that you guys can have a future with ten of pentacles over here ending of chapters beginnings of new ones pentacles being the stability and security so they're realizing their love for you they are openly going to express the love for you and your relationship is going to be taking the next chapter with them especially with this page of cups energy over here they seem to have gained a sense of wisdom with the fish you know fish always makes me think of my druidry druidry and this, the the fish in druidry stands for the salmon. Uh, the salmon stands for wisdom, rebirth, renewal. Um, and this is what's happening with you and your person. You're going to be going through this renewal. Okay, opening up to you about how they're feeling. Their emotions are a lot more stabilized. They're a lot more secure. They still have this airy energy around them where they're on a little bit of self protect. Um, but overall, you have this open communication coming towards you. The other side of things to mention over here is where they've been wearing a mask that mask has now lifted uh where you feel like they've been kind of maybe maybe saying things to upset you or trying to provoke this reaction within you that is now going to start fading away uh, you're going to start gaining more confidence in the connection as they start to open up to you about how they feel um do be prepared uh, on social media for them to make little statuses and you sit there and wonder is it about me is this what they're getting at um what they will be doing is trying to provoke a reaction in you because they're feeling a little bit out of control of this at the moment that obsession um is coming forward as well like i said the word obsession coming up over here your person is obsessed with you they there is a very strong addiction energy over here um, and sometimes when they want to provoke a reaction even a negative reaction is better than no reaction at all
So your person might be trying to trigger this little bit of a reaction from you, whether it's negative or positive. So don't be worried if you see anything on social media where you're a little bit like, well, what does that mean? Is there something more to that? The reason for it is because they want to trigger those emotions. They want you to um, reach out to them, et cetera, et cetera. But you're doing great in not doing that. Uh, getting a timing for you on when you are likely to hear from them. Spirit was saying a couple of weeks if you haven't heard from them by now. Like they said, like Spirit said, the communication between you guys hasn't really gone anywhere. It's still there. And with that song at the, at the top, uh, at the top, at the start, the Under Pressure song, this is just how they're feeling about the connection. Like it is that coming back to this devil energy, this addiction, this power-based energy, and they are a little bit obsessed and they are feeling under pressure over the situation. Um, and they don't really know how to step away from it. You've got a lot of control over this. You've got more control than what you think you have. And you are also, um, they're seeing you in a very stable energy with regard to how you feel for them as well. That like you've never really changed your emotions for them. They've known all the way along about how you feel. And now it's time for the tables to turn um, and for this partnership to come forward. Might still be a little bit icy, but that ice is melting and that communication is coming up. So yes, they are absolutely stalking your social media a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and yes, they are absolutely going to message you and it's not even that far away. Look at the beauty of that, your partnership. Person really, really loves you. Lots of cups, lots of cups, lots of pentacles, divine partnership, um, really good stuff. Yeah, so watching social media, yes, and yes, they are going to message you in most likely a number of weeks. Okay, guys, and that is deck number two. So if you want me, just drop me a email or an Instagram or a Facebook. I'm always around at the moment. Um, I hope everything's okay in your countries as well. Um, England, we should be having an update on Monday about what's happening. Um, so for now, we just keep going and I'm still working every single day. So if you want me uh, for a reading, it's probably a good time to book now. Um, Okay. All right, guys. Sending lots of love to you. I will speak to you all soon. God, I spice Ciao.